This is an old Coursera um, question and it relates to stepwise variable selection procedures. First off what I'm going to talk about is the Aikaike, which I believe is how it's pronounced. My apologies if that is not correct. Uh, information criterion, I'm going to say AIC from now on, is a measure of the relative quality of a statistical model for a given set of data. And essentially, it provides a means for model selection, comparing one model, a uh, potential model versus another. So given a set of candidate models, the preferred model is the one with the lowest or the minimum AIC value. Now, it's, it doesn't provide any hypothesis test, so it doesn't actually tell us any real uh, information about how good the model is in general. It just tells us which one is better than its competitors. They might all be bad, but it, one might be less bad than the others. So if all the candidate models fit poorly, you know, the AIC will not give any indication of it. It just gives a sort of helps you give a, get a sense of the ranking. Now, this is the, that's just a sort of few quick remarks to start off. Uh, I'm going to come back to the AIC shortly. What I'm going to do now is actually look at the question here. Uh, load the school absenteeism data set and fit a linear model relating to the log relating to the log of the number of days absent to other variables with the following command. MASS is a inbuilt data set in R, so you just re uh, require MASS, bring up the data uh, quine, let's find out, uh, and then run the following command. So the linear, we're going to call this model LM1 and LM log of the number of days plus 2.5 now this is given in the question explained by all of the variables so that little dot there rather than write out all the variables just write a little dot and that's to say all of the predictor variables all of the possible predictor variables uh, in the data set so let's just run that there quickly there we go uh, let's just have a quick look at the head. Uh, let's just look at the this Quine data set. And again, I'm reading this from a book. I'm not really 100% sure how, if that's how to pronounce it. So we have a e ETH uh, variable, uh, sex, age, LRN, which I'm not. I think it's, I'm not sure, and the number of days. So essentially, what we want to do is find out predict the number of days from the other. Uh, values okay from the other variables so use the step function in R to perform a model selection using default parameters and what variables remain in the model after variable selection so the we have a set up a um, linear uh, fitted model here and it's called LM1 let's just have a look at LM1 so it is the first off we have a um, couple of we had some categorical variables first off and what we've done is they've turned into indicator variables so depending whether or not there's a difference between one variable and another uh, essentially it's essentially how they would be transformed from categorical variables into sort of is something that you can use in a linear equation. So, for example, there was uh, two sex categories, and so male and female. So the default category is female, but if it's a male, there's a slight way of adjusting the pr uh, predicted response, and so on. And learner, slow learner, I think that might be, again, if there's a slight way of predicting the uh, response if the learner is a slow learner. So, what we're going to do is uh, reduce the, uh, compact the number of explan uh, explanatory predictor variables by using the step command by just getting rid of ones that don't really explain anything. And the command there is step lm1. There we go. Let's have a look at that now. It actually just takes up a lot of the page. What I'm going to do actually is just look at the question here again. I'm just going to scroll down here a second now. In the first phase, 
Uh, removing sex as a particular variable results in the largest decrease of AIC value. And it, removing AI age and ethnicity increases the AIC value, which is undesirable. So hence we have the final model. So I've actually just put it on the screen here, just rather than scrolling up, I can just sort of explain from here. So what would happen here in the first instance, there's multiple steps to this. And if I was to remove um, sex as a predictor variable, the AIC would have a value. First off, sorry, let's first off start off saying that the AIC value is minus 54.92 of the LM1, the model we've fitted. If I re remove sex as a predictor variable, we would get an AIC value of minus 56.28, which is a lower number on the number line. If we remove learner, we get minus 55.875 and so on. If we do nothing, we get this number here. It's just this number rounded to um, uh, essentially, uh, if we remove age, the AIC actually goes up, likewise ethnicity, ETH. So what happens is that sex will be removed as a predictor variable, and then the model be re would be refitted again. Okay. So, this is the second phase now. Uh, sex, is, sex has been removed as a predictor variable. Now removing learner variables results in a decrease of AIC. So removing an age and ethnicity actually increase the AIC. This is just repeating what I said the last time. Essentially we don't have sex anymore. Now we're looking and see what happens if we take out learner, LRN, this LRN variable. And then if it's, it looks like if we take out the LRN variable, we actually would decrease the uh, AIC further. Currently, actually just as a remark, currently it's minus, minus 56.218 and this is the second phase and if we were to take LRN out we would actually reduce the AIC again, the AIC value again. So let's do that. Here we are. In the third phase, removing age and ethnicity actually increase the AIC value which is undesirable. The best approach here is not to remove any variables. Okay, so essentially the ultimate model just includes variables for age and ethnicity. It doesn't include the LRN variable or sex. So, what's the question? This is the final model here. Age and ethnicity and so this is the best predictor variable using that uh, uh, selection procedure. This is the uh, pr best uh, predictive model uh, for this data set. So, anyway, that's a lot of work in that. Really, it's sort of hard to explain. Really, the gist of it is a table of AIC values from all of the respective outcomes, depending on what you take out, what variables you take out, and a sort of ranking of all the possible contingencies of yeah uh, with regards to AIC so it's actually a simple enough idea and it's pretty you know once you actually have to have it on your screen it's pretty easy to read all right that is enough of that so the command again is just step and the name of the model okay that ends the presentation